It's up under the top. There we go. This video will explore the cost of a walk-in tub and whether or not it's worth the investment for you. First United Six claims of racism, discrimination, and threats of a lawsuit. <laughs> God, dog. Jeez. That was quick. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was nothing that you talked about. Johnny, you lied to me. Bing! <laughs> That's not well, what I did say she got. I did say she got fired. You know what happens when a subwoman gets fired? <laughs> Johnny, should we put Johnny on a poll for lying to us like that, man? Johnny said the story was about one thing, and it's, it's actually about this sun woman being racist against. <laughs> yeah, put him on the poll. <laughs> yeah, man, Johnny, you can't be lying like that, man. What's wrong with you, man? Um, let's see, man. As the fallout continues, the responsible and six claims of racism, discrimination, and threats of a lawsuit. As the fallout continues from what some consider a failed black business expo in Minneapolis, the person responsible for planning the event is redirecting the blame at her now former employer. Renee Cooper live in the newsroom with the accusations we're now learning uh, were made days before her departure. Kevin, in a letter, Taisha Green blames other city leadership for the event's low turnout. She claims it's part of a larger, quote, toxic work environment that promotes anti-black racism. Meanwhile, small business owners want an apology and they want their money back. In a 14-page letter to city leaders, Former racial equity director Taisha Green says she plans to sue council member Latricia Vita, claiming pages later that Vita, quote, made it her mission to defame Green's character by supposedly spreading lies about the, quote, lack of work coming from her department as it planned the Black Business Expo. I was shocked. Is there any truth to these claims? None of it. Absolutely none of it. Vita says she hasn't been served yet. Now, two weeks later. The Ward 4 representative was a part of a unanimous vote to double funding for the inaugural expo at Green's request a week before it was scheduled. Did I think the expo should be postponed? Absolutely. When I found out some of the things that were going on behind the scenes. And it so that's the councilwoman. That's the black councilwoman who's drawn the ire of the sister who's the diversity or some shit um, of the city, the, the head of the city or some shit. How is that racism? It kept its place on the calendar. Weeks later, the Ward 4 representative was a part of a unanimous vote to double funding for the inaugural expo at Green. No act of kindness goes unpunished. She voted to double that sister's funding for her expo. And now she's getting fucking sued by that same sister. Green's request a week before it was scheduled. Did I think the expo should be postponed? Absolutely. When I found out some of the things that were going on behind the scenes. And it kept its place on the calendar and local black businesses set up, expecting upwards of 20,000 people to look at how piss poor that looks. Look at this place through man. the convention center, kept its place on the calendar and local black businesses set. Look how fucking shitty that looks. There's, there's nothing on the walls. There's no. That looks shitty. It looked like they just was like, all right, you said, oh, you over here, you said, I'm over. original budget, 450000 then they doubled it. So basically, close to a million dollars. And this is what you. <sighs> and, I, I, and I'm sure we're going to find out about some expensive Louis Vuitton bags, trips. Um, goddamn cars. We're gonna find out about all that shit in the future. And businesses had to pay to come too. Twenty thousand people to flow through the Hold convention center. The, they had to Our pay. Five news camera instead captured a. Hold on, they had to pay. The the, the vendors had to pay. Well, they at least and had the, to pay to public. get their stuff there. I, they didn't get free yeah. transportation there. Yeah, but they're wanting their money back. Jesus Christ. This is a $1 million event right here. Do you understand how much they, they could have done with the million dollars? Everything here is the vendor stuff. 
there's nothing. There's no banners. There's no like rugs with black expo on it. There's no goddamn um, stanchions or displays. Or, Welcome to the black expo. Everything you see was brought by the vendors. <laughs> a largely empty space. I showed up a week before it was scheduled. Did I think the expo should be postponed? Absolutely. When I found out some of the things that were going on behind the scenes. And it kept its place on the calendar and local black businesses set up, expecting upwards of 20,000 people to flow through the convention center. Our five eyewitness news camera instead captured a largely empty space. I showed up at this event for it to, to be a complete fail. In her letter, Green now blames city communications for the lack of marketing and city operations for, quote, purposefully misguiding her in the vendor contracting process. In a statement, City Communications says it did its part, and the mayor's office says it disagrees with Green's characterization of events throughout the memo. Councilwoman Vita, she literally has apologized over and over and over again. City leaders, including Vita, met with vendors Monday evening at Markella Smith's North Minneapolis shop. I want is a public apology. And the 2000 she says she lost. Smith says she made the request on behalf of all local vendors. And for you, that would be, you would be expecting that $2,000? At the very, very minimum. What about the money that we could have made that we didn't? And we, at the end of the day, deserve that. Like, this was a complete disaster. Now, Green hasn't responded to multiple requests for comment. The city responded further to her claims of racism in a lengthy statement we'll have posted to KSCP.com. For now, live in the newsroom, Renee Cooper. Who was being racist, Johnny? I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's just a <laughs> default claim whenever you're called on something. I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> Attendance at the event was 200 Instead of twenty thousand that they they claim, they claim they're gonna have twenty thousand people. They two hundred showed up, and it looked like a lot of them were gliders. <laughs> like yeah. Can anyone so, else hear? Like maybe give? I don't know. Maybe I just I just can't understand it. I don't know. I, I don't get it. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm I'm stumped, man. I ain't even gonna lie, man. I usually I can figure this shit out, but. I'm, so I'm, the 400000 is supposed to center. be to rent the, the base, decorate it, and advertise, you know, around the city. Hey, we've got this expo. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> look at look at this. These gliders. These are gliders. All the people that showed up <laughs> for customers were gliders, man. What the fuck, man? Like, you gliders, man. I mean, what would we do without y'all, man? And what what's your thanks for that? What do you get in return for that? Let's see the city council that voted for this shit. Okay, so that must be the races. You got one glider here, a glider here, glider here, glider here. This might be a fucking um, burrito right here. This is a glider. So you got, yeah, you got a couple. You got three sons and about five gliders on the council. Yeah. Okay. So well, that's race. All right. So down uh, down just now, Twitter link. Uh, this is what you get if you try to help some people out. You put in the back chat. Yeah. Fight at a gas station. <laughs> that's hmm. Let me see if I can use this. Oh my god. It's just one punch, Ock. Oh, okay, all right. Let me see. Let me see. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. What are you glad is... Let, listen, what are y'all shipping us back, man? I want to stay, but I wouldn't be mad if y'all shipped us back. Like, I want to stay, and I still could understand it. <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus Christ, man. Listen, man. Big as hell. Dude, no, I, what, you, you, what, 
what you didn't see in there is you got the um, the uh, person tries to intervene there and says, "Hey, what's going on? Hey, stop!" Oh God! And they get he gets up. it. Yeah, of course. What's up, Fabian? Hey, how's it going? Man. You you you've been a part of these black expos, haven't you? Is what you do with your little music thing? I don't know about an expo. I mean, we've yeah, we've we've done various and any kind of like sun person event in the area. You know, they get called. So mm-hmm. one of them might have been called an expo. I don't know. So did you um, did you ever experience any like um, the dysfunction and the whatever the 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 you know just a rampant dysfunction that goes on in these places uh not really i mean most of the functions that i was a uh, part of were uh pretty smooth but also pretty simple i mean a lot of it too and it might be like area specific but uh where i am some people it, it's it's clear that they're making a display that they can have a thing and not have it go off the rails. You know, it like it, it's mm. it's subtly clear that they know that you're watching and you're waiting for some sun person shit to go down and they're going to make sure that like what are you looking at? What are you looking at me for? Like see everything's going smooth, you know, but they have a certain, you know, they're kind of gritting their teeth about it and they're like we're going to cause this to be to work, you know. There's a yeah. subtle underpinning of that, yeah, but no, I I was never in the midst of any uh anything uh going off the rails fortunately that's good that's good yeah. i've i've been to a few sun man things where things went smooth so it's not always but um we do have issues like throwing funks and stuff yeah we do have issues with this part of it yeah. is if you've got your own money invested in it and uh you know you kind of help with the organization of it you kind of got a little bit of skin in the game you want to make sure mm-hmm. everything goes well whereas if it's just giving money from the government yeah that's true she was yeah she she just was was thinking how much could she pocket so let's see um let's see what's going on in memphis it's always good to check out memphis man make sure you hit the paypal cash app super chat support the channel um we coming at you we going in the hour four man make sure you support the channel um all new all new faces are very welcome to sport too like um people who've never shown Never shown the channel any love. It's good to see you guys show love for the first time. Um, let's see. Um, <sighs> Memphis police are working to track down two gunmen following two deadly shootings overnight. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Alex Coleman. And I'm April Thompson. The two attacks happened within an hour. A man was shot dead near Rutgers Road in South Memphis. The other shooting was on Urbana Road in the Coral Lake community. WRAG's Jarita Patterson with more on the violence that spilled into the streets. Overnight, crime overshadowed the peace and quiet here along Rutgers Road. Police telling us around 8 p.m. they responded to this crashed vehicle only to find there was more to it than a driver losing control. It was later confirmed that he did suffer from a gunshot wound. The investigation has revealed that the shooting occurred in the 2400 block of Ball Road. Police say this was not a random attack as the victim and gunman knew one another. However, what prompted the fatal shooting